Bank of Russia has stockpiled reserve comprised of non-U.S. sanctioned assets. Russia has managed to create a so-called safety cushion for its economy based on assets that are not susceptible to being blocked by U.S. sanctions. Since the country was affected by a wide package of sanctions due to its involvement in the Russia-Ukraine conflict, the bank has focused on piling up this kind of resource. We are now forming reserves based on what assets cannot be used for sanctions pressure and how our foreign trade is changing. However, did not specify the nature of these kinds of non-sanctionable assets. Hint, hint. The wide package of sanctions that the Russian Federation has faced has changed the configuration of its international trade partners. With the nation leaving European and American imports and leaning more towards improving its relationship with countries like Iran and India, the sanctions applied to the Russian Federation include freezing gold and foreign currency reserves abroad and barring countries and companies from conducting transactions with the Bank of Russia and selecting Russian companies and individuals. The so-called weaponization of dollar-centric sanctions have been brought to spotlight due to the rise of international de-dollarization movement that seeks to build alternatives around the U.S. currency. I mean, if you've been following this channel for any amount of time at all, you know that have based our whole crypto thesis around that. De-dollarization of the world. Sidestepping of the Swiss system, which is the international payment rails that the West uses. Because the West right now has a reserve currency. In my opinion, that's about to change. Emerging economies are out there looking for ways to get around these economic chains that are put around their hands. And they don't really care what it is, whether that's a BRICS nation currency, Bitcoin, whatever, doesn't really matter. It's just the switch. 